several um, rights that are listed in the United Nations uh, Human Rights Convention, actually. And um, just as an example, I mean, um, Bitcoin enforces freedom of speech, freedom of association, which comes with demonstrations, movements uh, from the people against the police brutality. You can speak more about that afterwards. And also, like, for instance, freedom from discrimination. Like, I mean, it's discriminating that Northern or Western countries have all these KYC regulations that trickle down to African countries and exclude in globally 1.7 billion people from uh, banking or from financial systems. And Bitcoin, as it is permissionless, um, can enable everyone uh, this right and basically to not be discriminated against. And to bring a personal example from what I really, I mean, since 2017 I'm in Bitcoin and I always, I came to Bitcoin because I understood its potential uh, for social impact and to secure human rights or give human rights to people in a way, enforce it. And um, I did a human rights workshop in April in Lusaka in Zambia and there were 50 human rights activists from all over Africa and we showed them how Bitcoin is basically a freedom money, a tool that gives them the possibility to receive funds from abroad that are not then being stolen by the central bank and the government. Because they told me the thing is always that way. As soon as we get funds into a bank account, the government, the government says we're a terrorist organization and then they shut down our account and take our money. And then in that workshop, people realized, oh wow, so with Bitcoin, no one can take away my funds anymore, anymore and the government doesn't even know about it. Because um, that's also a thing I um, experienced. One of my friends in Zimbabwe, we were uh, doing donations for her in Bitcoin for school, not for her personally. And uh, soon after that, she was arrested and questioned where that money is coming from. So um, it goes to show on the one hand, she can receive the money without being interfered, but on the other hand, that people that it's really dangerous and that activists need to stay anonymous and private. And but it it shows you the potential of Bitcoin here and how it can enforce human rights.